All right, first and foremost, we give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and who is worthy to be counted for double honors. And peace and salutation to you, brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, it's the, um, it's the brother Gabaria from the Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another sit down um, to basically talk about this article that I found on RT. And I've been knowing, I knew about this article when it first hit my phone because, um, uh, you know, and I, I was actually planning on doing a sit down of it later, but I guess the spirit didn't have it, so I'm doing a sit down right now. This article came out in um, October 22, uh, 2018. So October the 22nd, 2018. It's uh, entitled as Trump Threatens to Build Up U.S. Nuclear Arsenal. <laughs> Until Russia and China comes to their senses, all right. Um, I think they have a little clip here. We're gonna probably play it. As soon as this computer start acting right. The international first for you. Within the past hour, Donald Trump's ramped up his nuclear weapons threats, warning that the United States intend. It's like the internet going kind of slow. Just to build up its atomic arsenal until Russia and China, quote, come to their senses. That's oh, being fucking Satan. Warning that the United States intends to build up its atomic arsenal until Russia and China, quote, come to their senses. He'd earlier declared that Washington's plan. I'm going to just, I'm gonna just read it, and now I'm going to put the link in the description box if you brothers want to go check it out and, you know, watch the video, because this fucking internet is something. It, it was just working just fine, but anyways, it says, uh, U.S. President Donald Trump threatened Russia and China's that Washington instead to build up the nuclear arsenal until people come to their senses. It says, the president said, said his words was directed towards Moscow and Beijing as he prepared a unliteral unliterally leave unliterally leave um leave the the Im immediately a nuclear force in Europe treaty it says the US US president implied China should be part of a new new uh, a new nuclear arm control uh, control treaty it said um uh, says a uh, 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 Trump told reporter outside of the White House on Monday, before depart before departing from a campaign rally in Texas, until people come to their senses, we will build it up. It says he said he he said referring to the U.S. the U.S. nuclear arsenal when he it's like it when they did when they do, we will be smart and we will. This is this is Trump quoting. He says when they do. We'll be smart and we'll stop. Not only stop, but we will reduce, which I love to do. Ask if it ask if this should be taken as a threat. Trump said, being a proud Edomite, he 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 is. It says this. This it says it's a threat to whoever you want. Include includes China and includes Russia. All right. So. Uh, basically, by uh, Trump saying this, man, it's just, you know, Trump is is geared to go to war with these countries, man. All right, so uh, uh, Trump is is ready to do an uh, and you see how it's always talking about a nuclear um, a nuclear uh, a fight. They're not talking about uh, uh, um, they're not talking about no other uh, different. They're not talking about no other type of fights. They're not talking about no political debate. They're not talking about no. They're talking about nuclear fights, man. Which is it, it, it was, which is actually um. Uh, 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 recorded in the scriptures that that's how that's what this type of fight is going to be. All right, let me go ahead and get that. That's 
stupid want to go all slow now. It's insane. Here it is. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 5. It says, For every battle of the warrior is, is with confusing noise and garments rolled in blood. See, so this is how basically ancient uh, battle was uh, fought, all right? Which was what? Confusing noise of, uh, 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 um, of shields, uh, 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 breaking arrows. Um, what's it called? Uh, 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 knives. Knives, uh, people getting stabbed, people getting killed. You hear a blood gushing, man. You hear your, uh, you hear people screaming. You know, have you ever, if you ever hear any type of war, uh, like uh, the 300 or um, Games of Thrones or certain, you know, certain uh, that, that shows you that medieval type of fighting. You know, those are a confusing noise. All you really hear is uh, uh, swords clashing, shields uh, breaking, people getting stabbed, people getting killed, screaming. You know, you hear all type of different confusing noise, man. All right, and it says garments rolled in blood, which is what? Because when you're killing somebody, you're up and close, you know? You're not shooting them far away where you, you're not getting no blood on you, man. You're actually having a, a, a when you're killing somebody, stabbing somebody, cutting somebody in a threat, you're, their gush blood's going to gush out on you, man, and get up on your garment, man. It says what? But this shall be what it's talking about with this. It's talking about what this battle, this war, this, uh, uh, the, the, this, uh, this warfare, this fight to come, all right? It says, but this shall be with burning and fuels of fire man all right so this warfare is to come is going to be with burning and fuels of fire all right that's what type of a uh, 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 warfare we're uh, expecting man that's why trump is always talking about nuclear warfare man nuclear arsenal trump had uh, uh, tr uh oh russia got nukes china got nukes why can't we build up our nukes we're going to build up our nukes you know that's why all this is what's uh, it's, uh, it's come is coming to is coming to nuclear fire, man. It's not coming to nothing else, man. It's not coming to uh, uh, debating. It's not coming to paying off debt. It's not coming with an uh, argument. It's coming with nuclear fire, man. All right. That's exactly how America is going to be destroyed, man. It's not going to be destroyed by anything else, man. All right. Nuclear fire is what is what is what's gonna uh, is is that wool is that is that third rope? Whoa! Actually, I'm gonna get that. Slack it, bear with me for a minute. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 14. It says, The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right. Uh, matter of fact, I'm gonna read I'm gonna read nine I'm gonna read nine and twelve, then I'm gonna jump from uh then I'm gonna jump from eleven and fourteen. This is Revelation nine and twelve. It says, One woe is past, which is what? World War One. And behold, there cometh two woes more hereafter, which is what? World War Two and World War Three. Now World War Two had passed, which is which it says in Revelation eleven and fourteen, which it says what? The second, this says the second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. All right, what's that third woe? And you see how I didn't say no uh, uh, um, second woe after that, which I mean it's like a no fourth woe after that. Because why? After the after this third war's uh, war, it's not gonna be no more wars, man. Matter of fact, it says in the book of Isaiah um, that their uh, their spears are gonna be turned into pruning hooks and their uh, swords into plow. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it because I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, butcher it but it talks about basically the other nations they're going to turn all their weapons because we're not going to need for no weapons because there's not going to be no war there's not going to be no conflict on the planet earth no more man all right like it is right now how you hear about nuclear uh, trump's threatening uh, uh trump's threatening russia trump's threatening china russia's threatening uh, uh america all these different countries threatening each other man it's not going to be that in the kingdom of heaven man all right
Okay, here we go. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 2, verse 4. It says, He shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. It says, And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up sword against a nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. Now, see, that's beautiful because they're, uh, 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 because in Joel, in, in Joel, the third chapter, it talks about how they're actually ch uh, turning their uh, their farming weapons into swords, man. All right? Because the Lord has a set time where war is going to be on this planet Earth, man. It's going to be nothing but war, man. All right? It's going to be completely uh, an utter chaos upon this place, man. And guess what? After that, peace comes, man. All right? Peace, tranquility. You know? It says uh, um, before uh, creation must come destruction, man. All right? Before uh, the Lord, Yahweh Yasha can build up his kingdom and build up... um. I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures that actually talks about that. It's so one in Numbers. Um, I think it's one in Apocrypha where it says, uh, uh, "The the wicked can't be joined with the righteous." Um, just to back up that point, just to back up the points I'm making. Um, Slack it out on fucking computer. Things numbers thirty five. It is Numbers 35 and 33. This is Numbers chapter 35, verse 33. It says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood is defileth, defi but for, for blood defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that shed that, that is shed thereby, but by the blood of him that shed it. Alright, so not not including the people that not including the Jakes that's being mercilessly killed right now just include back when the Native Americans uh, got slaughtered and back when a uh, 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 Benjamin Judah Benjamin Levi got uh, slaughtered by the um uh, uh, in slavery man all right just 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 count all that that alone right there should be well enough blood uh, 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 um, killed and spilt on this planet uh, on, on this uh, plot of land for it to be destroyed man all right and ever since then, it's been it, we've been having merciless, merciless Edomites continue killing Jake, man, all the way until now, man. You know, now I'm not even, I'm not even talking about the ones they televised, like the Trayvon Martins, the the uh, um, what the fuck, the uh, the uh, hands up, don't shoot, I'm choking. You know, all them, all them other ones that they televised on. I'm not even talking about those. I'm talking about the ones Jake's die continuously, man. The ones that that that, that doesn't um. They don't uh, 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 get uh, broadcasted to television, man. All right, those are ones I'm talking about. All right, so just imagine all those, uh, all, uh, all Esau who, who, uh, all these Edomites killing Jake mercilessly now, man. You know, just imagine all those, uh, 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 all that blood is getting uh, shed, man. You know, all the way until now. So you don't think this white man doesn't have to pay this back, man? This place got to be destroyed, man. All right. And by all the Edomites that uh that was uh back in slavery that had slave owners, they're all right here in this country now, man. You know. And when they get destroyed, hey, th this land is gonna be uh, cleansed. But guess what? This land is gonna be cleansed by by thermonuclear missiles, man. Fire is a clean a cleaning agency, man. All right. It says what? Uh uh um, uh, gold is tried in a fire. Let me get that right quick. It wasn't acceptable. I think that's in the book of Sirach. Acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. It's like a resin. Give me like two seconds.
Here it is, yeah, the book of Sirach, the second chapter. I should have known. This is, uh, as soon as it comes up. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 2. I'm going to just get straight to the point. Um, in verse 5. It says for it says what for gold is tried in a fire. How does gold try? How do you purify gold? You try it in fire. The impurities is gonna boil up to the top. The the the, the rich um the rich part that you want is gonna stay at the bottom, man. It's tried in a fire. Hey, same same thing with cast iron, man. You wanna get your cast iron skillet back um back a uh, 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 perfect where it doesn't have no rust stains on it. Hey, put it in fire, man. All right, to burn out all the impurities, man. Burn out all the impurities. Put it in anything to the fire burns out all the impurities, man. All right. It says, for gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in a furnace of adverse in adversities, man. All right. So fire is a cleaning a cleaning agency. All right. It's a it's it's a tool to be cleansed. It's a tool that cleanses things. All right. So Lord's gonna use thermal nuclear missiles to cleanse this plot of land, man. Right? Because they have blood on it. It has to be cleansed from that by the people that uh the people that shared it, man, which are you Edomites, man. Alright? So the Lord's gonna send um the Lord's gonna send nuclear thermonuclear missiles over here to cleanse this place, man. Alright? Um What I want to get after that, uh, uh da, da, da. I'm just kinda trying to think, trying to think. Oh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. Probably gonna make this my last scripture. This is um this is Revelation chapter seventeen verse sixteen. It says, and the ten horns shall. It says, when ten horns which they saw upon that which they saw upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, which the whore is America, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, man. All right, why? Because they hate. They, they, we're in the process of now. These other nations are hating the whore, man. All right, they're gonna. They're 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 hating the whore, and guess what? They're eventually gonna destroy this bitch, man. All right, they're eventually going to destroy this place. All right, with thermonuclear missiles, man. All right, and then they're going to weep and cry because they like, oh man, we just destroyed our, our number one marketplace because everything's over here, is fucking made from whatever. This probably computer is made with Indonesia. This, this, this uh, uh, um, printer was made in India somewhere. So America buys a lot of um, other countries. Uh. Uh, 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 um, merchandise, you know, but hey, at the end of the day, man, these other nations are gonna destroy this place, man, with thermonuclear missiles, man. Why? Because they hate the whore, and this is in this article is them hating the whore right now, man. Donald Trump is was literally put in this position for these other nations to hate the whore, man. Because look what this guy's doing, man. You know, threatening China and Russia, talking about we're gonna up our military, we're gonna up our um our our, 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 nu our nuclear arsenal, you know. Until they, until you guys come to your senses, like who the nigga, who is you? You know, but you know, I'm gonna leave the uh, link in the description below if you brothers want to go check out that article. You know, Lord willing, I hope this video was edifying for you brothers out there and for you, uh, you know, you potential elect. You know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. Howl Bashim, Yahshua Bashim, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And peace out to you brothers out there pushing this truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, Shalom.